Hey guys, today let's discuss about uh, the metabolism of fructose. In this, especially, we are going to discuss mainly about the fructolysis. Okay, yeah. So the sucrose is taken in the form of diet. Now, in the intestinal lumen, exactly at the intestinal uh, epithelial cell border, we have an enzyme called as sucrose isomaltase. So sucrose isomaltase is an enzyme present at the intestinal brush border cells. So this enzyme cleaves sucrose into glucose plus fructose. Remember this point, cleaves into glucose plus fructose. Now we are talking about fructose. So let's discuss about the glucose later because we are discussing about the metabolism of fructose. So let's see what is the fate of fructose over here. So whatever the fructose so formed at the intestinal lumen, at the intestinal lumen, now it should enter into the enterocyte. It should enter into the enterocyte, right? So this is the enterocyte. So now what happens is this fructose enters into the enterocyte. So there should be a transporter. So what is the name of this transporter? This transporter name is called as glucose transporter 5. Remember glucose transporter 5 faces the intestinal lumen which transports the fructose into the enterocyte mediated by facilitated diffusion. Remember, by the means of facilitated diffusion. Now, whatever may be the fructose which is present inside the enterocyte, now leaves the enterocyte and enters the bloodstream. Leaves the enterocyte and enters the bloodstream. This is mediated by the second transporter which exits the enterocyte called as glucose transporter. So what is the function of GLUT2 here? GLUT2 transports the fructose from the enterocyte into the blood. Now, from the blood, you can see here, from the blood, it enters into the liver. Got it? From the blood, it enters into the liver for further metabolism, which is called as fructolysis. So now what we will do is, we will discuss about the reactions of the fructolysis over here. Now, the first enzyme to act upon fructose is called as fructokinase. And this fructokinase activates fructose or catalyzes the reaction to form fructose 1-phosphate. Fructose 1-phosphate. And in this particular reaction, ATP is utilized, right? ATP is utilized to release the inorganic phosphate which is added to the fructose to form fructose 1-phosphate. Now, in the next step, where aldolase B is an enzyme, catalyzes the reaction of fructose 1-phosphate to generate two important molecules. One is called as dihydroxyacetone phosphate and second product so produced is called as glyceraldehyde. Second product is called as glyceraldehyde. And this dihydroxyacetone phosphate immediately gets converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is mediated by the enzyme triophosphate isomerase, TIM. TIM is called as triose phosphate isomerase. And in the same way, the glyceraldehyde has two different pathways. One, depending upon the need, it may enter into the synthesis of glycerol. Remember that the glycerol is responsible for the synthesis of triacylglycerols or the fatty acid biosynthesis. Or the glyceraldehyde can form the same glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate over here. And this is mediated by the enzyme called as triokinase. Right? In this particular step, again, another molecule of ATP is utilized. Okay? So, to form glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So, the one glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is produced from dihydroxyacetone phosphate 
and another glyceraldehyde is produced from glyceraldehyde itself so here the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate so produced enters into the glycolysis so this is how the fructose is metabolized by two important enzymes one is fructokinase and second one is aldolase b finally to produce the product called as glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which enters into the glycolysis now we have two important uh, diseases when there is a deficiency of uh, one of these enzymes whenever there is a deficiency of an enzyme fructokinase we develop a condition called as essential essential fructose urea essential fructose urea so essential fructose urea develops due to the deficiency of the fructokinase anyway detailed uh, uh, video about essential fructose urea can be done later because here we are only discussing about the pathway and uh, the deficiency of the enzyme and the deficiency of the enzyme aldolase b develops an important disease called as fructose fructose intolerance okay fructose intolerance so these are the two diseases which are associated with the fructose metabolism and this is how the fructose is catabolized thank you